Let's Go Outdoors with Michael Short. Hi, I'm Brad Fenson with the Alberta Fish and Game Association with your Outdoor Tip of the Week. Today we're going ice fishing and we're talking about how to get through that ice. I know when I first started I had a hand auger and boy it was a lot of work to drill multiple holes. Most of the time I drill one and I try to fish it all day. And I know in the real old days they used to use just a pry bar and chisel to get through the ice. But nowadays we have lots of options and the power augers are tremendous. You know, this one is a four stroke, so it's environmentally friendly. There's no mixing gas, there's no blue smoke. It runs quieter. And not only that, you can cut literally hundreds of holes a day, pretty much effortlessly. You wanna make sure you drill your hole straight. If you get it off on an angle, it's gonna be hard not only to get the auger up, but when you go to fish, it's gonna be hard to see your hook. You're gonna be catching the edge of the ice when you bring it up. And if you do manage to catch a fish, chances are he's going to be able to get some leverage against the bottom of that hole and kick off. So that's really key. The other thing is with the augers, you want to let them do the work. They're heavy enough that they will cut at their own speed and actually pull that ice up through the auger. As soon as you try to push on it, you're actually going to stall it up and it's going to quit cutting. So it's really important to let the auger do the work. You're just here to run the throttle and guide the auger so that your hole goes in straight. The other thing you want to do is when you actually get through the ice, you want to throttle it up and lift your auger up and down and it'll actually help you clear the slush and the ice and the snow out of the hole to make it easier. You won't have as much work to do with the scoop afterwards. So lots of new augers out there. This is just one of the examples, but power augers, they'll last for 25, 30 years or more. So they're a good solid investment. And of course, when we have six months of ice fishing season in Alberta, you have to do something in the outdoors you love. So get out there and enjoy the great outdoors.